only four people. Um, the first thing that I want to say is I have made at least three or four efforts to get a hold of Quincy. I don't know what's going on with her, but I've had no response at all, not even, and I don't have time to talk to you. So this concerns me, and I just want to get that out in public. Because she went through the whole process and said she wanted to participate and did a very good job the first time she was here and said she was going to help with the Indigenous People Celebration, which I still have on the agenda. And if, in the last note I wrote to her, I said, um, if you can't do this, please let me know so that we can make alternate plans. And I didn't get any answer to that either. So um, we are, I think we better start making alternate plans. That's the thing I am the most concerned about. Um, now, Barbara, we had, were you, you were at the other meeting, so you heard Peter. Uh, I was at the meeting a week ago. Is that what you're ago. talking about? Yeah. Okay, so we've all heard from Peter. I love what he says, and let's see what we can work out and work on and see what happens. And I said to, um, Margaret, that if if um, can't, Quincy doesn't come through for us, I want to talk to Peter a little bit and see what they're thinking about doing. But this is a very bad time to ask uh, the school people to do anything except get ready for the kids. So um, I don't know if any of the rest of you, I mean, I don't, the one thing I don't want to do is have an Indigenous people celebration with no Indigenous people in the planning committee. That is just not a good thing. We were so thinking of this think? for Columbus Day. Excuse me, Columbus but could no Indigenous Yes, yes. Yeah, this I know. For, for the, day for, the day formerly known as Columbus, Columbus Day. Day. Okay, Indigenous Peoples Day. I'm sorry. I, um, well, I guess I will be around for that. I'm leaving later in October. Where are you going this time? I love your pictures. <laughs> this one is a trip from um, Istanbul to Rome. <gasps> wow. Oh. I'm, I'm very excited about it, um, but we'll see. Been working on my Italian. <laughs> <laughs> you could just sing to him. You wouldn't have to necessarily talk. Well, no, my husband's cousins were visiting, and their English is great, but um, trying to meet them halfway. That's nice, and that, that makes it more manageable. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. So what do you think about this IP day and what the other options are if we don't have any support from within? Um, unfortunately, I can't open the attachments that Margaret sent on my iPad, the windmill stuff. And I can't, uh, so I'm not sure. Are you talking about something that was in that or? No, well, we the, the one meeting that um, Quincy came to she told us that she had a friend who was her former roommate at Eastern, who was a person in the Pequot tribe who was responsible for doing all kinds of public celebrations and that she would be happy to help that woman get involved and see if she could help us plan an event or something for Indigenous people staying. So I thought this is fantastic because she's new and now she has something important to do and she's got a connection that nobody else has. And that was the last I heard of it. So, so were we thinking of doing this in conjunction with the schools? No, we were thinking of just doing something. I, the schools was kind of my backup. Are you guys doing anything? Do you have connections? Because I know that the Mesh and Tuckets, not the Fox, who's the one that has the museum? The Mesh and Tuckets? Yeah. They have an educational outreach program. They have all kinds of people, and I'm sure that they'll have a million people. It'd be like asking somebody black to come do a thing in the middle of uh, African American History Month. I'm sure they'll they'll be swamped. I would be willing to try to find out who those people are, but that's the only other connection that I have. I don't know if anybody lives around here, any connections with the tribe or anything. Um, is it um, what? I'm just wondering what kind of event where we're going to hold it. Um, I, I'm not sure what we were talking about. Well, we I weren't I talking that. about anything. She just said she'd get in touch with her friend and that we would talk about what they could do. And then we never got any more information. What did we do last year? Last year, we wrote some kind of a proclamation, didn't we? We put a um, section on the website. Derek and I are um, making changes right now and adding things on a doc. So we'll get that 
to you at some point. Okay. Well, last year, I think we just basically changed the name, didn't we, from Columbus Day to, I mean, not us, the town, town did, right? But under our recommendation, or I don't know. Yes. It, was a, it was a very impassioned letter, I think, from a kid in, in the middle school. Right, yes. Yeah, yeah it was a good letter, yeah. yeah. Um, I, yeah, do so we really need to I'm have... Glad. Thank you, I'm glad we're doing something. Well, I'm wondering if we really need to have a some sort of ceremony or event for Indigenous People Day. I mean, it would be nice if somebody from the Pequots could come do something, but it's pretty pretty vague. Yeah, I know. I mean, it would be an incredible amount of work starting from behind the eight ball. And it's not that far away. So I think I'd rather, if we don't hear from Quincy, then I think I'd rather just look to what we did last year and do it better this year. And it sounds like Felicia's already working on that. I'd second that. I mean, I just think it's a little late at this point, unless somebody has... And, also, we probably need some money, some sort of budget, if you're going to have somebody come in from the. Um, what is this with you? <laughs> I, I'm I'm a musician, and I like to get paid for my work. So if we're yeah, asking yeah, somebody yeah. to come produce something and do some sort of event, um, I don't like asking them for free. I mean, people right, should get right, paid for what they right. do. Yeah. Okay. Well, can we, um, Margaret? Would you just look at what we did last year and bring that to the next full human rights committee meeting and have everybody approve it? Can we do that? Uh, we can do that. And I think Felicia characterized it very well. The town council made the change to our, um, you know, responded to the HRC's request. They did a proclamation. I'm not sure that they did that this time of year. They might've actually done that in the spring that we were going to declare um, Indigenous Peoples Day. And then we did on the HRC website um, create a resource. Um, and we also linked to the um, Mansfield Historical Society also beefed up their website to put more specific information about um, Indigenous Peoples on their site, which we also linked to. So it, it was really just that there is a resource for local information and regional information about IP Day. So um, that was the extent of what we did. And then we, you know, we pushed it out in the newsletter and we pushed it out through communication that there was, you know, such a resource. So that was, I mean, I'm happy to repeat that at the next meeting, but that's all what we did last year. Well, I'm I'm satisfied with that because we can't get anything big going this time. I mean, I had a vision of some kind of powwow thing, but that takes forever to organize, and it's much too late to do that. And you need maybe a budget too. You definitely need a budget because yeah. people come away and they dance and there's food and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Okay, well then let's um let's do the default approach from last year and see where we are with the whole group next time, but that I'm, I'm happy with that. And um, let's just go forward. Okay, so um, I'm jumping around on the agenda. The book club update is that, that the book club is happening, the um, speaker is happening, the money is there to pay for it. We can't have a vote on any of that until we have a quorum, but it's all in, in ready to go. And what I want to know, Margaret, that you and the library are going to do some kind of publicity for the book club. What do I need? I've given you the speaker's um, press kit, but what's publicity going to look like and how do I publicize this book club thing in addition to the speaker? So I think the, obviously we would need to nail down what the three dates are. They're um, nailed down. I will send them to you. Okay, I mean, so I was holding off on really paying much close attention to any of that until we had a vote that we were going to spend that money because again, we can't spend the money until the, you know, until there's a quorum to uh, approve it. Um, the book club is free. The speaker is not free. So I can give you the dates for the book club because I'm going to facilitate. Um, so that's not going to cost it. And the library is giving us their space and we're not going to need any money. Correct. 
So I think what I'll do is I would just connect with Vicki, the new adult librarian, and I appreciate you connecting us by email and, uh, and their team. And, and we would just need to talk about, um, I think we would want to create a flyer mm -hmm. uh, that summarizes and, and that shows that we're doing this in partnership with the Mansfield Public Library and the HRC and start promoting that right away. Um, when was your first date, generally speaking, Jane? Do you remember? I think it's the second week in October and the fourth week in October. Okay. So we would want to, you know, start pushing that out um, fairly early in September. I think we'll get on the other side of Labor Day and that's, then we need to exactly start. Doing it. And it's obviously something too that we could talk up in a big way at the HRC table uh, at the festival. Yeah, and um, I'm also planning to talk to a couple of churches have book clubs, and I will be talking to the people who are running those book clubs, and we're going to need people to talk to people, and then we need to get a picture of that book out in a whole bunch of different places so everybody knows what they're looking at, and the library has bought copies of the book, so I think that part's pretty covered. We okay. just need to tell people. Um, what we're doing and when we're so, doing it. So I'll just plan to roll that out and work with, with Vicki and the library's publici okay. publicity people because they promote their programs very heavily um, and just cooperate with them in you know, starting to get that uh, communication out and maybe um, they would also be willing to do a display right with the book that promotes the uh, the sessions. And then I would also um, ensure that Peter and his DEI group are also aware that we're doing this. I mean, it, I, I would think that he would, you know, let us push that publicity out through the school sure. messenger to all of the school backpacks, all the families. Um, and then, you know, Felicia, I guess, you know, from your perspective and, and your team at EO Smith, you know, how might we you know, who do we reach out to there through Amy, I guess, and, and um, in order to promote that there that it's happening. Right. Yeah, um, the uh, speaker said she didn't want to work with people under the from the public talking about race at all, which makes me also be a little aware of uh, security. So we get closer, I'm gonna ask about that because we're gonna do this in person. Library. Um, but anyway, anybody can be invited to hear her speak. And I think we definitely can advertise this in the high school. And then if any high school student wants to read this book and participate, that's fine with me. I think it's a little bit too much for middle schoolers, but it's, it's fine for juniors and seniors in high school. So, and Amy said she would publicize it. So I think we're good there. All right. So then I just, uh, I just need to get the flyer together um, with the, you know, with the key information. And then we'll just, because we can promote it as a series, but if someone never read the book and wanted to come and hear Debbie Irving speak, I think that would be valuable too, right? Sure, so absolutely. You know, there's um, lots of ways to participate. I will take a picture of the cover of the book and send it to you. And hopefully you can use that. I don't know if it's got enough pixels in it, but. Yeah, well, it, I should be able to find know it, it online. Better. If you get it online, because that'll be a, a, a proper picture. Okay, good. All right. All right. I'll send you the dates tomorrow. You sent them to me before, so I'll find them in your email and I'll let you know if for some reason I didn't. Okay. All right. Um, Barbara, anything new about the um, Celebrate Mansfield Day, except that you have a table? Uh, no, we have the table and then um, I'm... I, I mean, we just have to show up, right? We need to have an activity for- We need an activity we need our banner. Where's our banner? So I have the banner and I have the map. Um, so those pieces are not a problem. We'll just need to bring a tablecloth. Um, I do wanna meet with you, maybe Barbara, to uh, over at the Library Express to, um, show you the, where we're going to be hanging up our building bridges exhibit because we are um, promoting that at the table. And I think that there may be an activity that comes out of that. So 
I think you and I maybe could connect um, in person to look at that, but also I wanna share with you the link to show you what the photographs look like. I don't know that we're gonna be able to exhibit all of them. Mm -hmm. So there is a day, uh, the previous Friday, I wanna say the 16th of September, but I don't have a calendar in front of me, where there's going to be a pass off day where the Columbia Town Hall or the wherever it is um, on exhibit, they're going to pack it up and deliver it to us. And we have to sign that, yes, we're accepting, which, you know, I guess I can do as the town. Um, but then we're going to have to look through all of those pictures and decide which ones we want to exhibit, which and and then how do we make the most of those stories? So I, I just feel like with a little bit of an advance and really looking at it, so we just don't hang up a bunch of pictures and ignore them. Mm -hmm. I really feel like this is an, a, a really easy, not easy, a, a, a meaningful way if we can engage people to take that five minutes to go in and see and talk about some of these stories. And it, I think it's, um, I think it's a really valuable resource, but we as a commission need to kind of dig into it and take advantage of it and then figure out how we're going to engage people in that conversation. And then I think we have it um, there at the Library Express, I want to say for two weeks um, before it goes off to someplace else. So. Okay, so you want to get together sometime after September 16th when it comes in? Um, or I'd like to... Um, I think we can view it online. So whether you and I get together and look at it online or I share the link with you and then we can talk about it um, because they show you what, what all the pictures are and I think mm -hmm. we can make some decisions. But we have to look at the space to figure out how many can we actually hang. And yeah. I might need to do that with the library person. Um, so there's a little bit of logistics here that we can get done before the festival, like a week before the festival. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I think you just need to schedule your team that day as to who's going to come in and and help and you know do what right. Um, so I'm I'm around that week before the uh, the week of September 18th. So if you let me know when a good time is, that would be helpful because I'm scheduling students and stuff around it. So once I know, are you around earlier than that, or are you? Yeah, I'm around the whole month of September. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. So let me just email me a, some when you want to get together and we'll find a time I can come down there. It's very easy. I can do it. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Now I have it's another be a place. nice space to exhibit. Yeah. If we we're going to have people engaging other people in conversation, we don't have a lot of people to work with here. Um, can we find other people who can help us? And Felicia, I'm looking at you because can you, um, is there anybody in school that you think might be interested in just coming and schmoozing people? I mean, um, I know a lot of students who go to that. So I think maybe we could get them to work it. If they're yeah, right. see if you can round up a couple of people because we don't have the people power to do anything right now. We're just basically a skeleton. <clears throat> Are we trying to get more people on the commission somehow if people applied to be on it? Yeah, um, I think I've got two applications that haven't been, that the people haven't been interviewed and Velda, um, whose last name I forget, has filled out the application and is intending to be interviewed and she very much wants to be involved. So I think we got three more people. And, and, and that fills all the spots? Yeah, Amelia okay. Annie Hobson, who is a freshman at UConn is interested, but I'm not, sure how interested and i have continually invited his father who has ignored me and that's just a problem for me and him because he's a friend of mine and i'm not sure why he's ignoring me unless he doesn't want anybody to ask him to do anything which is possible but anyway <clears throat> so those are two people and i'm we don't have, if we can get a couple of people of African descent, that would be wonderful. If we could also get somebody who is a Muslim or somebody with a disability. And one of the people who came to the last meeting was a special ed teacher and she is um, Peruvian. And she was also very interested and she said she was gonna fill out an application. So things may happen in the next couple of weeks and we may get more people. 
I hope yeah, I think you should also look into maybe finding if you're looking for somebody who's not white, to put it bluntly, maybe an Asian person, because we seem to have a lot of them in Mansfield. We do. And I've talked to the director of special ed for the Mansfield schools, who knows a lot of those parents, and she hasn't come up with anybody. Okay. They're not a group of people that generally want to be out in public making noise. They're very um, I mean, I have I have so many students. Do you have um, parents of students that you think might be interested? I don't know which ones that they need to be United States citizens. They need to be residents of Mansfield. I don't just think just residents of Mansfield. They don't have to be, they don't have to be a, a citizen. Not that I'm aware of. Margaret, what do you know about that? I think we've asked this question before. I'm not really clear on that, to be honest with you. I would think though, you know, a resident. Um, yeah, I'd have to get clarification on that. You know, yeah, do they have to be a registered voter? You know, those kinds of questions, so. Well, if you're a registered voter, you gotta be a citizen. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I have a couple of ideas, but I don't wanna ask them to do it if there are no spots to be filled. Well, I'll let you know if I hear anything from anybody. The woman who was, uh, the Peruvian woman who's a special ed teacher um, was very enthusiastic. So I'm assuming she's gonna follow through. Okay. And if you could find a man, that would be wonderful. We are totally lacking in that group <laughs> at this point. Okay, um, is there any? Oh, how are we doing the suggestion boxes? What's going on with that? Well, before you go there, um, Virginia Lorenz also did help at the table last year. Right, she did. And I think she had expressed um, that she might be willing to do that again. So if you can, um, yeah. you know, sign her up for a little bit. But I do think, you know, we're, we're going to want to have people at the table doing the table stuff. But it would be nice if we could also then have somebody in with the exhibit to engage people with the exhibit about what the exhibit is and what it is the HRC does. So I feel like it's a little, it's an opportunity, but it's gonna require some, some manpower yeah. to- execute. I'd be very happy to do that as long as we had people to sit at the table. Yeah. Um, um, and then I also wanna bring up for everybody, um, Jane, what I spoke with you about the Wyndham Willimantic NAACP right. is, as we have talked about in this group, is forming a youth council. And they approached the festival committee to see if they could have a table to um, recruit folks and talk about this emerging youth council. So um, I haven't heard if uh, they've actually put in a registration, but Kathleen Patterson, after I spoke with Jane, responded back to them and encouraged them to partner with us. So in other words, they would, you know, have, we would have two tables and it would all be an HRC table, but one of the tables would be manned by the NAACP talking about their youth council. And I love that idea too. So yeah. you know, and I we'll did, I did speak to the woman who's spearheading that, who is somebody I know. And um, I said, by all means, we're delighted to have you please come and wear your t-shirts. And then I explained to her about Q codes because I had been educated on QR codes rather. And because she said, what do we do? We can't have flyers. We can't have paper. So I explained that. And I said, you're going to have to find somebody to show you how, but this is way, how you do it. And then you, you link to the NAACP website and that's, that's how you do all that. And so she seemed interested in that. So um, they don't do long-term planning real well for most things. So I wouldn't be surprised if it takes them a while, but she was real excited about it and very pleased. So. And is that Ilda you spoke with? Yeah. Yeah. How do you do QR codes? Um, there are resources on the, um, on the web that you can go to and procure a free QR code. So you literally log in and give them the web address or the email address. Can you also do it with email as um, Felicia, do you know? I think possibly, but, yeah. So you just, you put in the link and it gives you that crazy little, you know, right. encoded box and you just download that as a piece of artwork and drop it into your, into your um, collateral, you know, into your, poster or whatever you're making. Well, 
What an amazing thing. Um, <clears throat> can we go to suggestion boxes? Where are we with suggestion boxes? So I had been, um, it got buried, I have to say, on my desk with my, uh, I have a new superintendent that I've been doing a lot of work with, but I did send the revision to Barbara that I had done um, because Barbara had given me some suggestion on some wording and I have been staring at it in my office for the last three weeks. I actually mocked one up and I just felt like it looked, it was too many words. So I was trying to cut it back to something that was a little more digestible and I think it's better. Um, so Barbara saw it, um, I found it and sent it to her tonight. And so I think that we can probably uh, send it off to the printer and you know, it'll be a couple of days and we'll have them. So, so it'd be nice to have one on the table, right? At Celebrate Mansfield mm -hmm. so we can- Very talk. good to have one on the table look for these yeah. and we have them at these places and you know let us know what you think so good that's great okay um do we have any other new business i don't think so oh um, I, I think that esme reported uh, on old business a that she did reach right. out and spoke with someone from the affordable housing committee. They have yet to have a meeting, but they will be starting to meet this fall. So and apparently she's expressed to them our interest in collaborating with them. Good, yes, she did, she did. Okay, so that's where we are right now. Any other stuff? No, I'd like to update the member list on our website and the bio. So I'll start with the member list um, and then we can update that bio sheet. But I, I asked this question before about Livia. Is she no longer a member because she has gone off to college? Is she officially no longer on the, That's the my member opinion. roster? Okay. I think so, yeah. Yeah, if you could find out who our members are, and I, I from the from Monica maybe, or and what who is in process of um, applying, that would be really helpful, because I am completely in the dark about that. Yeah, and I don't know what the cycle is on that. Um, mm -hmm. I have to say I don't know, you know, when the committee meets and you know who who what applications are in the hopper. Yeah. So yeah. I'll find out. Um, about the resident question about who can serve as a committee member and you know that whole requirement piece. And I'll try to find out who's on and who's applying. Um, I think that was, those were the two major asks of me. And of course I'll move ahead with the flyer and the suggestion box. And I will send you the dates of that program and um you're going to get a copy of the front page, front cover of the book to include in the publicity. Okay. Any other stuff? I don't think so. I don't think so. And since we haven't been called to order, we don't have to have a motion to adjourn. Makes it easy. And Very Felicia, easy. do you want to do the minutes for this meeting? I, I apologize. The last time well actually i guess there are no minutes the minutes just say there was no quorum and conversation I ensued yeah i don't know that we were the right it. specifics no because we can't minutes are for decisions and we can't make decisions so you don't have to put anything in in many in one sense all you have to do is to list the topics under all business all were discussed and that's the end of the record for the moment all right. So do you want me to do that or do you? Just... Um, if you would, if you would and could, that would be great. And then we'll show it to Monica and see if, if that passes muster. Cause again, I'm new to this when you don't really have a, a quorum, you know, how much do you, detail do you have to do? So. All right. Good. Well, thank you for your time, everybody. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening and I'll see you in three weeks at the other meeting. And I will be in touch with you sooner than that, Barbara, on some of these other issues. Okay, great. Fabulous. Great.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Felicia, get a, get some rest. You always look exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Unless maybe it's just because of how old you are, but take care of yourself. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody.